Hi guys, this is Cat's Diary, welcome back! So, you decided finally that you do want to have a Beerman cat. Congratulations, but let me give you a piece of advice before you go to buy it. Don't buy it because you're so cute or fluffy or because you simply want a toy or a fashion accessory. Now, do not do know that when you will buy a Beerman cat, you're buying yourself a friend for the next 15 to 20 years. So the question now is where to buy it? About a year ago, I had to say goodbye for my Nika. And yes, this candle burning here, it's in her memory. It was a very difficult time for me. To be honest but the best way to deal with situation and to go on is of course to buy a new cat so i started to look around slovenia is a very small country and we only have three different breeders and none of them had a one single kitten available i would need to wait for a while and at that point i didn't want to do that so i have to start looking overboard first of all i asked Uncle Google and he led me to the eBay. There are different breeders offering their kittens and I was looking around also I checked their felling associations and the nearest one I found in Salzburg because I kind of had in mind that first of all it has to be a Beermann cat and a second of all it has to be for about three hours of driving because you know kittens are small they are scared and I didn't want to put too much stress on them. So, if you are also thinking to buy one, now in the description below you can find a list of different associations of a cat and if you are a breeder and watching this video, feel free to write down yourself into the comments and also write down the name of national association you are a member so anyone who wants to buy it can this way contact you. There is a lot of competition in the market and I believe that there are many breeders who try to sell you a Beerman cat without pedigree or some will even mix it with another breed. Now imagine this for a second, cat living in her natural environment. There's a whole lot of individuals there, females and males and they mix with each other so that means that at the end a lot of good genetic material will come up. Now imagine then on the other hand a small market when some catcheries just don't pay that much attention to this problem and what it might happen is that they mix cats inside of their families which is of course not good because it increases the possibility for any genetic disorder. Now imagine for you now is to buy a cat like this. Number one it will probably live less long than another way uh, of mixing cat would be and you will probably take her a lot more times to the vet because it's a lot of chance for any other diseases happening. When you buy a pedigree cat, take good attention at the family tree. Well, here I have a family tree from Nika. Uh, as you can see, if you take a closer look, none of the cat is actually present here twice. So they're very well mixed together. And even more, they're not even all from Austria. Some of them are from Switzerland, which of course gives her a very a good pedigree or better say a very good chances that you will have a strong genes. Now also when you pick up the cattery 
where you will buy your kitten, I suggest that before you pick him up, you go there once or twice so you can actually meet them and you can actually meet the cattery owner. This way they will also get to know you and make sure that they will give cat into the good hands. Now I can tell you when I picked those two, I even signed a contract where it says that the owner can come to see me and see in what conditions the cats are living in and if she finds out or she make an assessment that they're not living in good conditions enough or that I'm not taking good care enough for them, she can actually buy them back. But don't worry, I won't, I'm not giving it. If you buy a cat from a registered cattery, your cat will see the vet at least twice because there need to be a vaccinations. So each time once, so twice together. But when I saw with those two, they also made a thorough checkup. Now, after that, they issue a something what I called a certificate of health. Now this is here is written everything they, um, they took care of it from nose to the heart and the hairy coat and at the end this is a final assessment which is in uh, German sehr gut, in English that would be very good so I'm already proud of them. Now the second thing I got is this note. Um, it is say something about anesthetic. I first didn't even know what it's about, but then a vet told me that when she read it, she finds out that one of the cat in previous um, previous family tree had problems waking up from anesthetic, and this information can be very useful because the vet knows to pay attention to that when you put them to, I don't know, sterilization or castration uh, procedure. Now, also, the vet told me that blue eyes cat are very easily to fall asleep because they only need a half of dose of anesthetic and the surgery may begin, which also means they can wake up very quickly. Now, the third thing I got is this, um, is this note. It's about sterilization and castration procedure. Now the vet has to give a, um, a stamp so to confirm that the cats were sterilized and castrated. Now why is that important? Because if you decide that you want to establish your own cattery, you need to tell that when you buy a cat because some breeders won't even want to sell them to you if you have them for a kittens. But I only have them for myself, so I made this. Um, also, one more thing that I got is a note, which is something they wish me luck, and of course the kittens, into their new home. And the owner written in that note that she will be very happy if every once in a while we will contact them and perhaps send them some photos. So yes, Heidi, these photos I send you and this video is for you. On the day when I picked those two up, beside all those papers, I also had a food supplies for one week and uh, some toys they could play. And what I found so fascinating, they both get each of them their own blanket. Now, what they did is they put this blanket on the mother cat, so her odor was transferred to the blanket. And when they have it all the way to their new home, they felt something that is familiar to them and they were more calmed down. Well, Jinx didn't have any problems adapting into his new home, while Nika, well, she's, she was more scared and she needed more time. So in case you do get a cat like that, that she is more scared, give her some time. Don't chase her around, don't run after her, give her some peace and quiet and in a week or two, she will be feeling herself at home.
gender of a cat should not be an issue or at least usually is not an issue well my first choice was having a two females because so far i only had females and i kind of liked it but i didn't have much choice here because there was only one female and one male so i took what i got but there's not really that much different between male and female yes males are bigger and um, they're usually also have between four and six kilograms so our females are usually shorter and have something uh, about two and a half to four kilograms otherwise birmans are described as peaceful cat um, some males can be more tempered than the others but usually that refers to when they play otherwise they can also be very gentle and they also like cuddling a lot so if you like that you will like your new Beerman cat a lot well when you bring them home also don't forget to take them to the vet so he can make a checkup and at the age of seven or eight months then just schedule a time for castration and sterilization thank you for watching the video if you liked us subscribe so you won't miss more stories from cat's diary see you soon bye bye